Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're still discussing the orthic triangle uh, and I remind you that the orthic triangle is the triangle that we get by drawing the three altitudes. So here in our triangle ABC, I've drawn the three altitudes AD, BE and CF and uh, we got the orthic triangle D, E, F with ortho center H. Okay. In the previous video, we discussed the six cyclic quadrilaterals, which we got by drawing the orthic triangle. And in this video, we'll discover a hidden in center, and that hidden in center is simply H, and it is of course the in center of the triangle D E F. So how can we show that? How can we show that H is the in center? Well, to show H is the in center, it is simply enough to show that HE is the angle bisector of the angle E, right? Because then in the same way we can show that HF is the angle bisector of F and HD is the angle bisector of D. So let's actually just prove that HE is the angle bisector of E. So let's actually take, for, first of all, this angle FEH, FEH, and try to compute it. To find the value of or the measure of this angle okay well remember from our last video we saw that we have cyclic quadrilateral which can, could be useful here and that cyclic quadrilateral is simply a e h f because this is cyclic that means that this angle f e h is simply the angle f a h so simply we have this is the same as our angle but this angle, we already know it. It is simply pi over 2 minus b, because this is an altitude. So because this is 90 degrees, and this is pi, or sorry, this is b. So this is simply pi over 2 minus b. And so is this angle, pi over 2 minus b. Great. So what about this angle? here the this angle which is the angle H E D well just we can do the same way because we have a cyclic quadrilateral which is H E C D so we have this angle H E D is the same as the angle H C D so this is the same as this angle but also we, because this is an altitude so this is 90 degrees and this is b so this angle is still pi over 2 minus b and so is this angle pi over 2 minus b and of course from the diagram we can see that he is indeed the angle bisector so we have f e h is simply the same as h e d and that means that indeed HE is the angle bisector of the angle E. And in this way, in the similar way, we can show that HF and HD are the angle bisectors of the angle F and angle D, which means that indeed H is the in center of the orthic triangle. And that is our property. Great. So now we know lots of things or lots of properties about the orthic triangle because the orthic triangle is very powerful and it appears a lot in Math Olympiad. Uh, problems. So keep this in mind and see you guys in the next video.